Hi everyone, it's Vala from Online Combat Battalion with another Armour 3 Editor tutorial. Uh, this one's on displaying text on your screen in your missions via triggers. It's quite simple to do and uh, I will export this mission uh, and create a folder for you to download. The link will be in the description so you can grab this, um, open it in the editor and then use these triggers wherever you like. So I'll show you what it looks like first and then we'll get into how to set it up. So I've got the uh, triggers set up and I've made the environment a little bit darker so it's early morning so it's much easier to see the text. And there you've got the first text on trigger. Then the next one and you can see there's different colors. And the last one I've used a different size. I've made it a bit smaller and left it as just white. Okay, so that's what it looks like and I'll show you how to set that up. So in the editor, you need to place down as many triggers as you would like for this stuff to display. I've got three triggers as you can see here. Um, if you haven't placed triggers before, it's quite simple. You just go up to F3 or the trigger flag icon here, and you can select various sizes of triggers. You've got 100 meters, 500, or 10 by 10 by 10. So I've used the smaller of the sized triggers, and to resize them, I've just hit the space bar four times, and you can move these around and resize them and reshape them. So in the trigger, I have the activation type as any player present of course you can use blue for present or op for or independent whatever it is that uh, suits the mission that you're playing but uh, this is a co-op mission so i've set it as any player present condition this and in the on activation section um, exec vm text one dot sqf which is in inverted commas and closed with a semicolon uh, this one's exactly the same except it relates to text two sqf and this one here is text3.sqf so once you've opened this up and placed your triggers down you need to go to scenario save as and then give your scenario a name and save it so you have a saved folder in your missions directory so this is the uh, directory for the mission you have the mission SQM that you don't need to play with. And we've got three SQF folders here, name, or files, sorry, uh, named text one, two, and three. Let's go to text one. And this very simple line of code um, relates to firstly the color, then the size, which I've set to two for the first text display, the actual name or the text that you want to have displayed, then I've got a break in here so that the next line of text, which is here, displays on a separate line. Uh, these things here relate to the positioning of the text. So don't play with those if, unless you know what you're doing with those. And then a uh, spawn BIS function dynamic text. In text two, which is also in the folder, uh, again, I've got a different hex color code. Uh, same size and different text here. This is a new line because it's after the breaks and then another new line here after the breaks. Again, this relates to the positioning and we have the same function call at the end and text three is exactly the same except I have a different color again, a different size, which is size one and just uh, two lines of text separated by breaks. Now finding the different colors that you want to use for your text is fairly simple. You just search for hex color picker and you can go to one of these sites that will allow you to do it or you can just use this simple one here. And to get a new hex code, you just slide this around. It'll bring up this display window and this small circle which shows you what color is currently picked. Um, I'm going to go with... Uh, Let's do something uh, a bit um, 
bit orange. Uh, actually, let's pick something that's a bit grey. Okay, so I've picked that colour, that's what it will look like, and the hex code here is displayed. Uh, you can just hit this, which will copy the hex code. And then in your SQF file, this is text one, you just paste the new code. You make sure you save it. Go back to your mission in the editor and save that. So now I've changed it to the gray color and I've actually increased the size a little. So there we have the um, gray text the red text, which is the next trigger, and again, the last text, which is white and a lot smaller. And just a bit of an example of how you can use this to get a bit of uh, immersion while your guys are being deployed into the field. You can place the triggers in the path of the helicopter. And that particular uh, sequence looks like this in the editor. So I've uh, just moved the triggers apart, um, changed the size of the triggers to be unlimited height, and spread them apart enough for the text to display at various intervals. So that's it for this tutorial. It's uh, just a short one. Um, Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, uh, comment section below, ask there. Visit our Discord, the link is in the uh, description. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.